Hey guys, Chad from the Drone Nerd Academy. Today we're going to update and inspire. Uh, we get a lot of phone calls for this on how to do the firmware updates. First, uh, just so you know, you'll see it in the status bar up at the top in whatever tablet or, or device you use to actually connect to it. You'll notice that it'll tell you that it needs to have the firmware updated or the RCE updated or both, probably both. So at, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take these off when you go through because they will kick a little bit while it's doing the update. Once you got these off, you're going to take the memory card out of the camera. You're going to put the memory card into your memory card reader. You're going to go to DJI.com. You're going to want to download the firmware for this, for the Inspire. You go to Products, then go to Inspire. Downloads up at the top. You're going to take the downloaded bin file out of the, the, the folder that it creates, and you're going to put it into the memory card inside the memory card reader. You're going to pull the memory card out of the reader, you're going to take that, you're going to put it back into the camera. Once it's in there, you're going to go ahead and turn the Inspire on. Inspire is going to go through its motions. The camera is going to calibrate itself. Once it starts, it's going to make noises as if it were to be reading the memory card. And then once it starts, you're going to get four beeps, letting you know that it's actually putting the update on the Inspire. Once you're done updating the Inspire, you'll have one long beep followed by two short beeps. You're going to go ahead and pull the memory card out of the Inspire, put it back into the memory card reader, plug that memory card reader into your computer, then you're, there's going to be another file. So you're going to have three. You're going to have the DCIM, you're going to have a test file, and then you're going to have the bin file. That test file you're going to want to open and read, make sure it says successful. So you're going to pull your memory card back out after you delete that test file. There's two ways you can do this. You can either leave it in your memory card reader, plug it into the back of your remote, and then turn your remote on. Your remote is going to beep. It's going to change colors on the lights. As soon as it's done, it's going to go back to green, and then you're going to want to do a power cycle on the remote. Or if you do, well, typically you're going to have one of these, but if you do not want to do it on this, you can actually leave this, put it back into the camera after you deleted that test file, it does come with a cable. You're going to plug that cable into the back of the camera and then into the same place you would plug the memory card reader. And then the same, same procedure, you're just going to go ahead and turn on the remote and then let it go through its cycle. As soon as it goes back to green, you can go ahead and turn that off and then it's good to go. Also with the, with the updating, if you have multiple batteries, Pretty much the same procedure. You're just going to go ahead and leave the memory card in there that has the new version of the firmware. You're going to turn on the battery. The battery is going to beep for a few seconds, roughly 10 to 20 seconds. It's going to be done. You're going to turn that battery off, pull it out, put your new battery in. Same exact thing. Turn, the, turn it on, let it sit for about 10 to 20 seconds. As soon as all the beeping is done, pull it out and flip them through. Uh, you'll know that they're done when the beeping stops. At that point, you're going to be completely set with the updates. At that point, you're going to be completely updated, uh, so you'll know by putting whatever device you, you choose to use with this, plug it in, go to the status bar at the top. If there's any red or you click on there, it's going to let you know if the battery needs to be updated or if it didn't go through. Um, but you should be fine, and then you'll have fun flying.